It has been pointed out to me that after I discussed the mean of a data set, I neglected to mention medians and modes. So uh, this video will be an attempt to, to rectify this. I've used the same set of data here that I referred to when we did calculations of the mean of a set of data. We did them uh, by adding them up and dividing by 10. We also put them into a frequency distribution and did the calculation. We found out the, the mean was 2.4. Now, how do I calculate the median of a set of data? Well, what is the median? Well, the median is just going to be the middle number. Sometimes it's called the 50th percentile and things like this. Well, I've got 10 numbers here, so that means I want to divide this uh, group of numbers into two groups of five to find the middle one. Well, if I just did this directly here, one, two, three, four, five, then there's a problem because you see the middle number here between three and four, three and a half, uh, is certainly not going to be the 50th percentile because, in fact, there's only one number in this whole list that's above three and a half, namely four here. So we have to do something else. We have to pre-process this list of numbers before we go through this natural way to find the middle number. And the way we do this is we order the numbers from, say, high to low. Order the values. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, there's uh, two ones, and there's three twos, and then there's uh, four threes, and one four, as we saw. Okay, now, if we've done this, then we can uh, get the middle number in the way that we tried to before. So we look at the first five and the last five, and we see that right here in the middle of these uh, we have to because we have five on each group and these are different we have to actually take the average of these two so this would be 2.5 is going to be the median now if we had had an odd number of numbers here so that when we went through this process we actually came up with a single value here in the middle then uh, we would have just chosen that as the median we wouldn't have had to average them all right now what about the mode? Well, what is the mode? Well, the mode is just the number that occurs most common. It's the most common. Which in our set of data here, if we look through this, we see that what? There is going to be uh, four threes. And so I can tell that also by looking at the frequencies here and noticing that, well, four is the largest of the numbers that it, it, it is the most often something occurs, and what number occurs most often? Well, it's just going to be the three. So the mode in this case is going to be three. Okay, I should have mentioned that while calculating the median here, I could have also done that by going back and looking at the frequency distribution I would be looking for the number between number five and number six. I could have gone down my list here and found five and said, okay, the median has to be the number between uh, the top five and the bottom five. Uh, it would have to be halfway between two and three. Now, maybe we should say a few words about when we would use each of these types of, of uh, calculations. Well, the mode would certainly be used if you had something where the data was not numerical. Uh, for example, you might do a survey of different flavors of ice cream and a certain number of people like vanilla and chocolate and strawberry and whatever else was on the list. And so people would be interested in, uh, it wouldn't make sense to actually to average uh, vanilla and chocolate or strawberry or something like that. Uh, people would be interested in what's the most popular flavor. And so that's the mode, the most popular. Okay, and what about the median? 
uh, let's take a look at an example here. Um, well, in this case here, you see the the mean and the median are pretty close together. Well, that indicates that is because the data is really pretty symmetrical. So uh, what happens if you've got some rather large values or rather small values, they can actually distort the mean. And the median gives a truer picture. So for example, what happens over here if instead of uh, these numbers, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, supposing this last number was 100 instead of 4. So how do we find the new mean? Well, I would have to replace this by 100 times 1. 100, so what have I got? I'm going to have here uh, 20 plus 100. I get 120 divided by 10. So my mean would be 12. But what about my median? Well, if I come over here and replace my 4 here by 100, then what happens? Well, the median is still the same. So because I had a very large value that threw in there that it, it distorted the mean, it did not distort the median. This is one reason that you find when they quote like average salaries and things like this. Uh, they'll use the median as that value just because you may have a few billionaires around or something like that that will would pull up the mean to something higher than is uh, realistic or what would be average for most people. Now, a, another example of where you would could see this if you took a look and at these represented student grades. For example, in this case, all three would make sense. You could calculate the mean grade. Uh, you could calculate the median grade, which would mean that half the class would be above that and half below. And then you could calculate the mode grade, which would be the most uh, popular grade. Okay, so this gives a little overview of the uh, median and mode and contrasted with the mean.